Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this again. I just hit 100 subs. Woo! So I'm happy. Got some mac and cheese here. Uh, some jello and some ham on the side. But, mm, enough about that. Got some cards up for trade. Um, all the cards from my, um, Hobby Pack Break, the Ever Brown Auto, the John David Booty Triple Jersey Auto to five ninety nine, which coincidentally happens to be in the Beckett for twenty to four, for fifteen to forty. The Brandon Wright Auto to thirty six forty five, the Greg Jennings Jersey to two ninety nine, and any of the numbered cards those are up for trade. The Ernest Graham to fourteen ninety nine first day issue. And the Dennis Dixon number to 500. And the Mario Williams and the Vernon Davis jersey cards. All from that Walmart break that I did. Those are up for trade. Coincidentally, these, this, pat, this fourth day issue, first day issue and the uh, press pass card are coincidentally the first time I've ever pulled numbered cards out of each of those products from re in retail. Bravo. From the Johnny A242 trade, anything except the Jared Dudley Jersey Auto, dual Jersey Auto, I'm guessing it's dual, it's probably just one piece though, to 199 That's right, all these guys are, all these guys are up for trade. Um, stuff from my Massachusetts breaks as of late, if you want to know about those, let me know. Anything, um, if you want to hit me up on stuff, just, you know, just let me know. We'll make a trade. Um, why I haven't made a video in the last couple days is because I have some personal had some personal stuff go on. Also, the reason why I haven't gotten back to John to JH Man One on the trade, um, I'm trading him, or I'm planning on trading him a used 360 with most likely the special 60 gig hard drive slapped on the side for something in a um, virtual game. Not gonna get into any details about that, but I haven't gotten back to anybody on that. I haven't got back to him on that and haven't made a video because I had some personal stuff. My grandmother, great grandmother, passed at the age of eighty seven this on Saturday. And that night I ended up actually crying myself to sleep. And I'm serious when I say that. And I'm willing to admit that. Go ahead and have a field day with that if you want. I don't care at this point. But that's what happened then, and, you know, if you really think I'm faking it, I've got two things to say. First of all, that, and second of all, please leave my channel. Just leave my channel for me. Don't make a comment on the video, because I really don't think you'd want, to, you want me to lash out at you. But anyway, a couple things I've got to say. First off, um... The thing that Chris made, the um, um, uh, the um, biggest city in the world video explained his rant. He um, basically shipped the box of um, SP Authentic 08. Mm. Sorry, I'm hungry, but he. Shipped a couple, or he shipped the box. Guy opened it up on video. Grabbed the first pack. And he's like, uh, Dude, these packs have air in them. Dude. And he's like, He's saying, uh, Dude, can't you see the packs have a cramp in them? And he's also like, Dude. Um, kind of uh, duh, can't you see he gave us this pat, this, this, this bad auto, and this one too, and the, as the phone rings, you know, can't you see he gave us this bad auto, uh, duh, can someone answer the phone, um, uh, duh, <laughs> uh,
<laughs> um, duh, can't you see this patch, you know, let's see if he's standing as a patch auto, um, duh, I just, oh wait, I just got a Joe Flacco patch auto with the B perfectly centered, um, duh, maybe he didn't reseal this, duh, Oh, and also he said, like, duh, can't you see how when I pull this way it doesn't open? When I pull this way it opens? Yeah. That just made a mockery of him, and I really don't care if he actually outlashes at me or if anybody does. Because, you know, if you seriously think that Chris would go that low to make some money, Chris from the Hobby Box is straight up the most honest guy Ever. Honest. He is. Straight up. If you seriously think that he would reseal a box for you, open all the packs of a box, all 24 packs, reseal bad hits, you know, and ship it to you and, like, you know, do all that, then God must not have passed out a brain to you. And if he did, yours doesn't work properly. But anywho... Enough on that. Another thing I'd like to mention is a couple months ago, AZ Allen, AZ Allen, AZ Allen, AZ Allen, however you say the name, I probably didn't say it right any of those times. You can go ahead and flame me on that one. But he basically made a video a couple months ago. It was not only a box break of 0809 signature, but he also cursed out YouTube, basically saying, I hate people, you know, that leech for free cards when I've gone through crap. And he basically took this box, he said, okay, a couple, you know, one person asked me where did my luxury box cards go. Well, here's your luxury box cards. He throws the box onto a table, onto his table, knocks the camera off, and then it's like, give me a break. And then later, break, you know, tears the box open, tears the box apart, and then... Throw, knocks the camera off the stand again basically saying if you seriously try and pull that stuff again I will blacklist you block you do whatever it takes to make sure everybody knows to avoid you I agree 110% if you seriously try and beg for free cards get yourself a job okay I don't personally have a job because I'm 17 and my grandmother's like, well, you should try and focus on school, honey. And that same lame, you know, same lame response that everybody gets when you're my age. But I don't beg for free cards. I mean, I trade. You know, I ask, okay, how much do you want for this? Or you want to trade for that or whatever. But I don't beg for free cards. Get yourself a job. Maybe get yourself a job as, I don't know, a professional masturbator or a guy that shoots himself in the crotch every, you know, every five minutes for like 20 bucks a pop or a guy that'll shoot himself in the face with a paintball gun or whatever. Just get yourself a job. Buy your own cards. Like, come on. Seriously. Only reason I've sent out free cards is to be nice and to say thank you for being my friend or thank you for being my subscriber. Back of back like you know, um, I think a year or two ago when I sent um what's his face? Uh Alex Joe Sackick fan nineteen XX or is it Joe Sackick nineteen XX? You know, when I sent him those Toronto sports team cards, I was being nice and saying thank you for giving you know, thank you for being a good buddy of mine. And only re and another reason I sent the reason I sent uh, I think it was Clem I think it was Clem Triple Seven O. Is either him or Bray or TPSA? Reason why I sent the person the patch, the Don Trill Willis, that beautiful patch number fifty, was it was a giveaway. It was a contest. It was a little giveaway I did on my live show one night, saying thank you for being a good subscriber to me. Don't beg people for free cards you want free card if you want if people will give you you know if people want to give you free cards they'll give you free cards if they don't want to give them to you don't beg for them i've literally seen tons of comments on chris's videos chris from the hobby boxes videos saying can i have free cards can you give me free cards and other people other videos have this comment thing too it's annoying we don't want to see it please get a job buy your own crap
Okay? If it means you have to be a professional circle jerker, by all means, do it. But that's it. Figured I'd touch up on that subject. Thank you. Thank you for being sub to me. Sorry about the rant, but thank you for being sub to me. I will see you later.